What's up guys, this is the Pro Queen Geek and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're moving on from the middle columns that we designed in the previous video and today we'll be focusing on the external and corner columns of our building. So without wasting too much time, let's just get right into the content of the video. So before we actually begin, remember to click on the subscribe button and also hit the notifications bell so that you get an update of whenever I upload a video. Also, remember to leave a like and comment down in the comment box below as this is the only way other people will be able to benefit from this content as much as you do as well. So please show me some love and let's get right into it. All right, welcome back. And as you may remember from uh, the introduction, I told you today we're going to be focusing on the external and corner columns of our building. As you remember in the previous video, we already did the middle columns, which you see as column one. So we have three of these, the one, the ones which are in red. And for today, we're going to be designing column two, column three, and column four, which is mostly the balcony columns. So we don't want to waste too much time. Let's just get started. And the first thing you want to do, and I think you already know me from now, is that I prefer to use the previous file that I used in the very beginning. The reason for this is because we pretty much have a rectangular building, which is symmetrical and all our columns are the same shape and same size. So without having to waste time, what we just have to do is go to the folder where we saved the first file, open it up. And when we open it up, there you go. H is 300, B is 230, which is the same for all our columns. The only difference that is going to come is maybe for the length and the load. In this case as well, all our bracing conditions are the same and our pinned end conditions are the same. So we're gonna keep those constant. But the first thing you want to do is now say, save as. And then what you want to do is you're in columns, you want to set that as your working folder. Change this to the working folder, yes. This is now no longer column one, it's now column two. So let's get started on that. So what we want to do, 300 is the same, 230 is the same, 48 is the same. I told you where that came from. 30 plus 10 plus eight to give you 48. 30 for the cover to the links, 10 for the links, then eight for the diameter of the bar, half the diameter of the bar. Then the next thing you want to do is the length. What we did is I had a representation for where that came from. As I said, we could design for 1.5, 2 meters and the other 2 meters, but that would be too much for a waste of time. So what we decided to do is just to design for the entire length and we will only change it when we come to the second floor columns. So for that first floor length, what we're going to do is we're going to design for 5.125 millimeters, which equates to 5.125 meters, which is L note. Then for the FCU of our columns, we're going with 40 because we decided from my notes that was the best grade of concrete you were going to use. Then for FY, we chose 460 because in columns, you either use mild steel or high yield tension steel, and I am choosing high yield tension steel. Then for bracing, we explained that pinned, it's because we don't want to transfer any moments. So the only thing that we need to change is obviously LL, let me change that, LL plus DL, which is the dead load. And the next thing that you want to do is change the load. To do that, all you have to do is go to your takedowns. Then once you do that, you go to column two and what is the total affected load? In our case, it's 418.026, which is good. So we're going to take 418.026. In our case, we just say 418.026. We don't have any moments. This is zero, 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 and zero because we want to design them as pinned and we're not exiting any more mistakes. Then the next thing you're going to do is just click on design, check what it gives you, see the calculations for yourself. Then we have the area of steel that's required. We only have one critical dead case, so this is okay. Nothing is in red, so we're good. Then for the design charts, I told you this is just a history and you don't have to worry too much. Same as the calculation sheets, but we are not going to save them because we already have this file and this will serve as the history for our calculations. Then the next thing we're going to do is go to the bending schedule. In our case, since this one is column two, we're just going to change this to call 02. Sorry, I put one, so we're going to put it to 02. Procon is proposing Y16 bars, right? 
let me see if I put 12s if it's okay. In this case, for this one in particular, 12s will work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that they're 12s, they will work. The minimum bar we can put in a column is a 12, so we are good to go. So we're good on that when it comes to that. So we got our 12s and the link diameter and space, and I'm just going to put it white 10s at 200. But actually, I think we can use Y8 because for this one, it's okay. And the sheet is already being calculated. Cover on the links is 30. It's okay. And then lip length vector. I told you 40 for compression, 50 for tension. It's okay. So for this case, it's 45. First bar mark, I'm just going to put it at 1. Then starter bars only. No, I don't want them to do starter bars only. And so this is it. I'm just going to generate the schedule, but it's not that much of a big deal. The most important thing is we've managed to see that we need four corner bars, number of links we need as well to go to the top. But then this is going to be corrected when we start detailing. So you, next thing you just have to do is press. Op okay, now that you're done with column two, all you have to do is just file, save. So to make sure that you save the file and just to verify which column that we did, which one is column two, column two, column two is the one which is in blue. So it's an external column. And now what we need to do is now let's do, we can actually do so column four is seven is both an external and corner column but what we're going to do is since it's on a balcony let's just go and design for an external column on its own in this case we're now moving on to column three so all you have to do is go to your takedowns go to column three and what is with column three you have the total load 202.639 so all you have to do now file save as this is now column three so we save it as column three and as you can see at the top of the screen, it changes to column three. So in this case, we go back to input and same things. H is the same, B is the same, D is the same, L is the same, FC is the same, FY is the same, everything is the same. The only thing that changes is your load. And in this case, column three is taking 202.639 after you factor in everything and you sum it up. So that's 202.639. Let's just double, do a double check. Yes, it's, this is column two, this is column three, it's 639, so we're good to go. So that's 639, we don't have any moments. The next thing you want to do is design. In this case, nothing is red, we're good to go. We get in the minimum still that we need as well. So program just does it for you. So there you have the design charts, design chart Y, and your calculations, and then you have the bending schedule so some of you may be asking why is the required still and the nominal still so still it seems to be the same the reason why is because we we have the same section throughout for our columns we have a 300 by 230 columns so the nominal still for that section remains the same because what we call nominal still is the minimum still that you can put for that certain section so in our case the next thing we want to change is column three and then we put column three in this case we see if 12s work 12s seem to work since they're the minimum bar we can put in a column we cannot be using tens so tens would work theoretically but the minimum column is for sabs standards is 12 so that is what we're going to do so now the next thing that you want to do is your links they're the same r8 it's okay with me then the cover of the links is 30 45 is the same maybe you just want to change the bar mark to one and then yes you're good next thing you want to do is just generate the schedule just wait for it to load up then you click ok and once that is done you're good so just click file save to so make sure that you save it with these parameters all right then the next thing you want to go back to input now we're going to do column just save this now save as column four and let's start doing column four now all right so to design column four all we need to do is now after saving our file is column four just remember everything is still the same hb 48 48 5.125 40 and 460 so please don't think this is the same for every building sometimes when your columns change you need to make sure you change these parameters as well but luckily for us our building has the same parameters so we are not changing anything so now to design for column four one thing i want you to notice it is it has three unique tributary areas there's one which is in green which is an external external column then we have one which is what we shaded or labeled as column four which is an external column that is close to the corner and then we have 
another external column but that is in the middle which we have the paper or magenta shaded so in this case which one do we use when we are designing a column so this one where you have the hatch which is in orange has the greater area as compared to all these other two areas so in our case when you're designing you always want to go for the worst case scenario so that is the one that you're going to choose and the one that you're going to pick so in our case this is the one that we picked and uh, when we did our take our takedowns and that is what we're going to be using so for column four the takedown results ended up having 129.914 so all we have to do is come back there 129.914 let's just verify if that is correct that is correct everything is still the same we are still braced we are still pinned so we're good to go then the next thing that you do is you click on design and if you look at your program nothing has changed and the maximum still yes it's still 277 as i told you that is the nominal still because our section is 300 by 200 this will change let me just show you it would change so if you had four okay 450 would not work because that would mean this one would be bigger so let's just put 450 and 500 there oh sorry 450 and 400 as you can see the nominal steel that is required for this section would change because it's now a different section but in our case it is staying the same because we have a 300 by 230 columns so the most important thing is i've already shown you is to come to your vendor schedule and know the values that you required for your nominal and the required still given the loading that you have so in our case we're just going to put 12 plus 12 to provide enough material or reinforcement for our columns everything stays the same then the schedule name you just have to change it to column 04 then once you're done length is still the same 45 change it to bottom of one column is still continuous double links of the kink and you're good to go the next thing you just click on generate schedule all right something went wrong let's just click once again and wait for it wait for it okay something is happening i think i already have another file called column 04 but i'm just gonna call it this h let's see what happens okay problem is happening i might need to restart the file so all we need to do is file save close the program go back to where i am designing my columns there we go to column 04 then we design 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 calc sheets Bending schedule. All right, let me see. Let's put it at column 04 and see if we can generate this one more time. One. All right, could not be created because something, I think the name is wrong. So, what we're going to do, let's say BS Core 04. See what happens. Yes, by changing the name. It's now able to create i don't know why it doesn't want to create with column 04 so the other thing if you're finding that error is repeating you can either restart your program or just change the file name in our case we just change the file name and we're good to go and then we can always rename it later on on its own outside the rectangular column design module which is okay so that is one quick troubleshooting thing you can do as well if you want a video on how to troubleshoot some errors that you have in procon leave your errors in the comment box below and then i will try and look it up and also if i know tricks to how to solve some of the problems you have i'll immediately give you a response so this is it for designing column four and five and now we need to talk about the next things that we need to do okay so for our next steps to for people to say you have designed or you have successfully designed a column what you need to come up with is a drawing that is similar to the one that i have up on the screen right now where you show the section of what still is required where you show your links your clips the bar marks then you also show the arrangement of the bar marks where you are fixing links what happens when the bars come to the soffit or the intersection or interact with the beam or the slab also where you have laps with starters and with the clips that you have before or whatever you have in this case 4y25 is bar mark 1 and 2y20 is bar mark 2 so this are the next step that we need to do but this is what we will do under the detailing section of our series 
right now we have designed our columns we know the steel that we need for column one column two column three and column four that is the analysis and design part the last part is the detailing part and also just arranging your things in a nice manner so first thing that i want to do is just show you how to key in the data that you have and just make sure it produces results for you then at the later end of the series we're going to do the detailing and arrangement of calculation sheets so that you have a nice project file that shows the calculations you do the analysis you did and the design that you did and also now the detailing of all the structural members so please just be patient wait with me we're going to get to that section of our series and then we're going to produce some nice well detailed documents that you can show or give anyone that you want whether it's your client or anyone or it's your instructor some of you are doing your projects so that is it for now thank you very much for tuning in and yes please remember if this is your first time coming to my channel just click the subscribe button and also hit the notifications bell so that you get a notification of whenever i upload a video also remember to leave a like and a comment down in the comment box below and in case you want the detailing components to come as fast as possible let's have this video crush 50 likes and i will drop it as soon as you need it so until next time, thank you very much.